hello model car fans welcome to the muscle car modeler i am ral the curator of this fine asylum and this week i'm going to show you what's going on here with my uh, uh afx 65 plymouth satellite here and uh, i'm really having a good time building this one i can't seem to put this one down so that's why it's uh, building kind of fast and some of my other projects are kind of languishing but that's how it is when you're motivated to build something uh, you work on that and so you know, I'm not immune to that, of course, and I'm having a good old time building this thing. As you can see, it's uh, progressed quite a bit. But first, since I'm you know teasing you, obviously I got the body painted white, um, which I just use scale finishes. It's just a 65 Plymouth white. I don't know the actual name for it. I don't know if they actually had a name when I was looking it up online. But laid down the decals, and they went really easily. Just tried to get them to lay down universally and. They're not the same left and right as far as placement and everything, but you know I did what I could just looking at the box and um, laying them out, and I'm really happy with them. And of course, got it clear coated, and I was just excited. And I, I wasn't planning on clear coating last weekend, but uh, if you saw my video on the Corvette, you know that I cleared both of these, and this is the one I really wanted to clear, and I messed that up. But um, here's uh, how this is going. And so it's cleared and ready to go. Even painted the headliner red, uh, just some flat red, just like I did the uh, compartment here. And even uh, this isn't glued on, I just slipped it in place, but parachutes on and used some uh, testers rubber paint, just looking for something that wasn't quite black, but really dark. And uh, it's a flat, and then I just rubbed it on my shirt to give it the semi-gloss look in some of the areas. So. I'm real happy with this. I'm going to do some bare metal foil on it and just kind of dread in that step uh, at the moment because I've been trying different things. And i got to fit the windows. I I've had a few people tell me the windows are kind of weird on Mobius kits, so fit them, especially you know since I used Real Automotive Clear, I might have to do some trimming to get them to fit because they pop in there. But I um, got the hood done as well. And then I had made a small mistake. Uh, the Plymouth decal that went on there. I left the Plymouth lettering um, on the hood when I painted it white the first time and then I was looking at the instructions and the decals and realized I need to sand the lettering off but sanded it smooth um, gave it another quick shot of uh, uh, paint and everything and then when I was ready to clear um, this was ready so uh, hood's taken care of so now you can see and I don't know why there's no O. I noticed that in the real pictures as well, and it's on the box art. Um, wonder what the story is on that, but I wasn't really finding too much. But and then of course the scoop. Um, just basically gotta glue this on and get it together. But as you see, a chassis is going really well. Um, Hemi engine is fully in there and just detail painted. I didn't add any wires. It didn't add, didn't add any extra detail. I'm just. Uh, building this out of the box and just highlighting what I can with the paint brushes and everything and painted the wiring harnesses on the firewall these clips in my reference pictures were kind of an off uh, white on the firewall uh, kind of a cream color so I had a light yellow color so I painted those light yellow to replicate the original cars and not all the wires are there but the bracket behind the master cylinder is black some of these are just uh, boxes and stuff which I don't know if they'd really be on the actual AFX car um, but they're detailed in the firewall and that steering box actually went in pretty well I was kind of worried about that because sometimes when you build them and you're putting them together that can be an issue But that steering box went in there My lower radiator hose went missing. I don't know where that went. I thought about making another one, but it's so hard to get up in there um, So I may steal one out of another kit. I may not I may just leave it headers are on um, all the suspension is done and um, just pretty much detailed. Got enough fingerprints on the bottom of the oil pan. I think I'm gonna uh, brush another layer of paint on it. Here's my axle. It's in place. I didn't glue this yet. Uh, main reason is I was fitting the drive shaft and the drive shaft that comes in the kit, because I swapped the rear end, this rear end comes out a little farther. So I had to modify the drive shaft, but this is the kit's drive shaft. And all I did was I had to shave a little bit off of each end. Um, it has, like maybe a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch more on each end and then since I had cut them off I would just taken a piece of a uh, round styrene that I had rod and then I drilled and tapped it now put that in there so I 
you know, I don't even really have to paint these because they're both tucked into the, the transmission and the axle. But now it fits, so I basically just got to glue all that together. So glue that together, glue the drive shaft uh, and rear end in, and it's pretty much done. Then I just got to put the brakes on, the shocks on, and then wheels and tires. Now the back, I painted the wheels gloss black and hit them with the clear coat. I'm going to detail paint them a little bit, like either the center where the axle is is either going to be flat black or steel. I'll probably do steel and then just do some uh, steel on the lug nuts. And then the front wheels, I'm kind of indecided. I painted a set of the front steels white uh, as I kind of like that look. But at the same time, I keep looking at these wheels and I'm liking these wheels. But uh, with the chrome on them, I may strip the chrome, paint a magnesium, and see what I like there, or dark uh, gray metallic. I uh, haven't decided yet, but I'm just entertaining that idea at the moment. So that's going. And then got this painted. And then put the Hemi on the front of it. So that's uh, that's looking really good. But this is going really easy. And then here's my uh, the back of the interior. There's the interior with the the roll bar is painted body color, and it's already glued in place and it's pretty much ready to go in there. So I can glue that in the seats. Start working on the interior. So that's pretty much next. Get the wheels and tires on this thing and the interior. I'm not sure if I'm going to put the wheels on at this point or wait till it's uh, fitted to the chassis um, or chassis is fitted into the body. I usually wait till that point. But I think they just slide on these little nubs right here. So I think that's just, I'll slide them on and mock them. Plus, I didn't paint the back side of these ones uh, only because I was really just playing and I can brush paint those. But I did complete these. These ones are painted and ready to go other than. The fine detail and kind of the same with those i'm just kind of like i mentioned deciding what i'm going to do there and then the rest of it you know the door panels are shot and i sprayed a little of a, a base coat on them uh, the flat red so it gives it a little bit more of a vinyl and it stands out against the, the the flat red so i'm kind of liking the way that came out and then of course i did the same thing with the seats so they've got their semi-gloss look to them. And the dash, of course. And I went a little heavier on the steering wheel, so the steering wheel is a bit more glossy for the red. And I'm just kind of liking the contrast there. So I've got some detail to do on this. Left the glove box on here, although I understand that it shouldn't have a glove box there, but it's got the glove box and radio. But I'm just detailing this, building it right out of the kit. Um, haven't worried about that too much. And it's got a decal to lay over the gauges there too. So I'm interested in how that's going to lay down, but um, you know this, this dash really should be changed or modified a little bit for the race car, but it's not uh, not ready yet. So that's how that's going, and I'm really you know I'm really thankful they put these photos on here. So I'm using them as nice reference material just to look and see how they built it or whoever did the box art, and I put the coil right on the intake manifold because there's a nice little hole there. Um, and I wanted to hide it, plus that's where the factory coil would be on the Hemi being the cross ram. So I did that, even though the directions also tell you to put it here. But since I'm doing the mule car, when you do this injection, you have to mount it on the fender, that's for sure. And my next one, because I have two of these kits, I'm going to build it with the uh, tall stacks and do this color combo. But for the mule car, I'm kind of doing this cross ram, I'm kind of doing an early one and it's it's looking pretty good so i'm pretty happy with it and so i did that and i just did some little extra detail painting but i'm really happy they give you um these nice photos and everything on this box and these instructions are, are pretty nice too i mean i'm enjoying these with the reference material although it's just kind of weird how they explain some of the stuff so i'm not used to any of that but there i did uh, see they put it there and I, I did it just like that, but I painted the fan all black. I didn't paint it silver like that. Um, not, even, not even sure they'd be using the factory fan or not, but um, painted that. And then I painted the oil filter gold, too. I don't really see too many gold oil filters, but I decided I was going to do that as well. But uh, really enjoying it. There's a reference for the dash, of course. So I'm going to do just, just like they did here um, with foil and some of the paint. But you got a couple of decals there in the tack. 
There's not a whole lot of detailing to the interior. It's pretty Spartan interior. So that'll go together pretty well, pretty easily. But I think on when I do this one, I'll do more of removing the radio and removing that. Um, and I'll do that on this one. But on the mule car, I'm just kind of leaving it uh, more stock. You know, kind of the theory that, you know, they didn't, being the mule, they just took a car right off the line and cut it all up, but they didn't take the time to fill this stuff in. But when they got to this car, they started to save all kinds of weight. And I'll start doing all that stuff. And that's just my thought process on why I'm building them. I gotta go a little bit farther in this one, but I'll leave the Dana in this one when I do this one. But those are those are my thoughts and plans. But who knows when I'll actually get to building that second one. Although I'm having so much fun building this one, it's going together so well and so easily. I, I may end up doing another one because I seem to do in batches, do you know two or three Corvettes here and this one I, I don't know why it just was screaming to me so uh, I got going on it so but I'm really enjoying it and, and apparently you guys are too so thank you for tuning in subscribing and all your comments I really appreciate it you guys you have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next Saturday